Okay, we're live. Monday, December 2nd, new month. We'll wait till some uh, guys get in. And while I will readily admit this whole week was a fucking atrocity in NFL, we're back destroying NBA. Last two days, guys, plus 12 units. I'll bang out our first five-unit bet of the season. And that's because I'm a real motherfucker, not like the jerk. I saw some jerk off claimed he had a 50-unit day the other day. For you to have a 50-unit day, uh, that means you put at least, because if, if you well, obviously he lost some of the games, but to if you won every game, and won 50 units, that means you would have had to have put half your bankroll <laughs> at risk on one given day. These guys are nothing but frauds. When I say I, all year, there's no better NBA handicapper than me in the world. And this was my first five-unit bet, uh, Nets plus eight and a half, just getting there, a uh, uh, tight one. But we get it done. Two NBA bets yesterday, plus five units um, with the Nets. Rockets, we took plus three. We, again, these we bet these games the day before. We don't wait to see what the sharp guys are betting. I am the fucking sharp guy. The lines get released, whether it's bet online or DraftKings, and we pummel a line. Rockets plus three. That game closed OKC one or one and a half, depending on your book. Rockets went out right. That was a three-unit bet. A two for two Saturday, uh, plus four units. So again, uh, the entire week, NBA was actually a plus. NFL was just a fucking absolute nightmare. And that continued yesterday. Uh, the Jets and Aaron Rodgers, a 14-point lead going for more. More nonsense. 92-yard interception returns. Uh, then I've got to get squares in my chat. Uh, telling me what teams to not and not bet, guys, go somewhere else. Uh, you're, you're, you don't, you don't, you don't even realize what you have. Jets closed as a one and a half and even two point favorite in some spots. Uh, all the sharp money was on the Jets. Fourteen point lead. Didn't have anybody saying, "Oh, uh, fuck, what did we bet the Jets for?" Fourteen point lead, going for more. <coughs> Only when the games are over, um, that's when everybody's a genius and they know who's going to win the games. I had a um, Atlanta Falcons. What a, what a fucking disgusting game. I mean, an absolute terrible game to watch. Um, Kirk Cousins, four interceptions. I, look at the stats in this game. I mean, there's just there's no way... If you look at the stats, that we're supposed to have lost this game. Um, Falcons, 24 first down, Chargers, 10. Falcons, 350 total yards, Chargers, 186. Herbert, I, I think it was five sacks. Um, guys, no crystal ball here. We bet with an edge. The, I tell you, there's no way that the magic... Could be an eight and a half point favorite. That's why it was a five unit bet. I posted the reasons why the game closed six and a half. Um, the Rockets, we take three. The game closes one or one and a half. That's your edge. If you don't get it, and and some of you don't, because some of you is as, as a square as could fucking possibly be, and you'll never get it, guys. I, I understand uh, Vegas Dave hits ninety percent. Uh, Steve Stevens, the uh, the the uh, bookie killer, because he calls himself a bookie killer. Uh, he hits ninety percent. Stu Finer, um, that mutt, that the Scratziad uh, from Barstool. Uh, you know, you, you, those are good guys you could follow. Go pay them um, to get insight that a guy with forty years of experience, a guy that gives you the games before the lines change, to get that. Uh, if you got complaints, again, I'm not for you. Best sports betting information service anyway. You get it for two ninety nine. We gave you guys a uh, Black Friday promo code last week. Could have got it for one ninety nine. And once again, 
It might not be for you guys. Maybe you guys are that, that fucking stunad that, that you really think that some of these jerk-offs, right? Like guys that have painted fingernails walking around Vegas casinos really win. Real, they own the books. There's one guy that owns the NBA. I own the NBA. I fucking bury it every day. I prove it here every day. Weekdays, Monday through Friday. I come on here, tell you what the fuck the line is going to move to. That's a handicap. Anybody else is just guessing. So once again, um, I'm not for everybody. If you don't think this edge is worth it, okay, don't follow. You're not, you're not going to go in my chat and be disrespectful because you wouldn't be in the same room with me and be disrespectful. And I can assure show you that so with that being said uh, we'll give another minute before we get in got a small card today four nba games but i got two bets guys you want me to continue to give you guys the bets like comment and retweet and if they ain't i will be giving my i'll, I'll just give a re i'll give a preview on the game not give you the actual bet so today will be the last day that i will tell you who i bet Unless I see our likes, comments, and retweets pick up. Um, hopefully we'll get some more followers in here. Anyway, uh, let's get go with this one NFL game while we're uh, waiting for everybody to get in. Seeing a big move right now. Um, Chiefs bouncing back to four. Always Monday, you got to watch for the injuries. Sometimes you don't know somebody got hurt. We'll have to see. Yes, LL Cool James, my man. Tell them. Like and repost this. Uh, Aaron, definitely the right side. Wrong result on NFL. It happens. Part of the game. It, it does happen. And guys, I, again, chat for my members. Chat is yours. Do what you want. But you're giving me fuck John. What the fuck? What? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Bang. Get the fuck out of here. Don't, you'll be You'll be gone. Uh, say what you want. Disrespect me in the chat. Uh, your your comments will be deleted. You will lose access to chat. Cry about whatever you want to cry. S things suck. I, I don't pass the ball. I don't run the ball. I don't play defense. I don't coach. Okay? We get we get our edge. My, my job is done. Anyway. Uh, Jan Six Guy. Pelican Scritch. 28 points in the first half last night. Pretty disgusting, my man. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. Pretty disgusting. Uh, thanks for the Rockets pick, LL Cool James says. Hey, guys, that's what I do. That's, that's, that's part of the deal. NBA, best NBA handicapper in the world. Um, again, had a, had, uh, a little slow spot, uh, crushed it over the last two days. Picked up everything we lost in the NBA over the last two days. Guys, patience. Just relax. We're gonna, we're gonna get there. It's a long NBA season. Again, NFL has not been uh, what we hoped it to be. We just we just seem to be taking the worst beats of all time. Uh, w. Pruder, Magic winning by eight just shows why the numbers matter. Absolute guys, beating the number is the only edge you got on this game. Nobody knows who's going to win these games. Nobody knows who's going to win these games. Having an edge on the number, that's your edge. Understand that, guys. Any If you think any other way, you're a square. That's just how it is. What ratings should we use for the college conference championships? You should use, these are all neutral fields. We'll talk about that. Actually, I got a little time, so we'll talk about that. Back and forth on this KC game I'm looking at. KC Chargers is the uh, Sunday night game this week. And you guys know that we're monitoring numbers as soon as they come out. And as a matter of fact, the uh, college football championship games I've been looking at since they were posted yesterday, and uh, we're, we're going to talk about that. Um, anyway, yeah, what else do we have here? Nobody's given what John is for the price period. Uh, let, let's forget becoming a member. Nobody's giving what I give here. Uh, just what I I give here the information that I can give here five days a week. You guys want to tune in and find out what I've got to say. So tonight, Cleveland Browns go to Denver Broncos. Uh, Denver, Denver's finding themselves right now in a playoff team. Rookie quarterback, and, and they got a shot at the playoffs. Uh, Browns, 
now 2-2 two and two, uh, since uh, Jameis Winston has taken over for Watson. And they look like a different team. That first game, completely different for team against the Ravens. A uh, couple of losing games. We bet against them when they went down to New Orleans. But then they come back uh, with, with that uh, snow game Thursday against a real good Steeler team. And they get the job done. Uh, Going to go up to Denver now. Extra rest. Remember, they last played Thursday in Cleveland. So extra rest for Cleveland. They go to Denver in this one. This game's 6 minus 115. It's, if it climbs up a little higher, look. To me, it's Cleveland and nobody. Um, it just looks like they're kind of playing right now. Uh, I, I think with the extra time, they've had enough to come off of that steal game. They do have the Steelers next. So there could be a letdown spot. That's why I wouldn't take less than seven in this spot. How much of my Ravens ratings going to change after that Philly loss? Uh, their, their home rating will drop a little bit and not much. Because if you saw the ratings yesterday, you saw I did not make it three anyway. So the, the ratings that I had, had Baltimore just two points better at home than Philly was on the road. Philly's a rocket ship. Their, their arrow's going up right now. If they were a stock, you want to buy Philly. Uh, so just two points better. Then you also got to remember that they played on the West Coast Monday night. So my actual number was only one and a half um, on that game anyway. Look, um, if Devonta Smith was in, I already had Philly circled in that game. Philly's just different right now. Defense that could be the best defensive team in the league all of a sudden after being gone. We had people talking about Tennessee's defense uh, last week. What did you, you guys think of their defense yesterday against the Washington Commanders? who were all but dead offensively. Anyway, uh, so the Ravens will drop a little bit on their home rating, but not much. Uh, again, as I said, you did, they uh, got penalized as you make the line um, for being on, playing on the West Coast on Monday night. You knew there was going to be a little bit of a letdown in that spot um, after that game. Anyway, the... the uh, uh, college ratings, guys, and for my Mass Edge members, are all up to date. College ratings have been updated. NFL have not been updated. Uh, NBA are updated every single day. We will get NFL updated by by this evening. Your NFL ratings will be updated, um, and and we'll have we'll have some changes in there too. But Ravens aren't going to be much. They're going to get downgraded. Just a little bit, just at home. Philadelphia is going to get upgraded again. It's more Philly playing good and the bad spot for Baltimore. So I hope uh, that you understand that. Um, anyway, Philly, uh, Cleveland, Denver. Like I said, that's your that's your uh, that's your Monday night game, and uh, we'll see how that goes. You know what? While we got it, so I guess let's do the. Let's do. I'm not going to do next week's NFL right now, okay? But uh, we will talk about this college real quick, just because we got a small four game card in the uh, NBA, and we only have four games, four conference championships that I'm going to cover. Uh, what I will say to uh, my man Jason and all you Notre Dame lovers, you guys get some busted ass. Notre Dame gets it done. But a couple of hundred yard interception returns to do it and win by 14. Look, Notre Dame, they, if if Oregon loses, Notre Dame's got a claim to be number one in the country. Uh, since that Northern Illinois loss, all, all they've done is just win, win, and cover. Um, and Oregon's going to get their hands full. So, um, as I said, all... Four conference championships are at a neutral site, but okay. So let's just get you guys geographic. Jo University of Georgia. They, they're from Athens, but there that conference championship is going to be played in um, in Atlanta, Georgia. So that is going to be an edge, no question about it, for Georgia. The the thing that's an edge for Texas, if you guys remember. 
um, excuse me, Georgia rolls into Texas, uh, not playing good ball. Texas looked like they were the best team or one of the best teams in the country, and they fucking walloped them. They stopped them, beat them like dogs. Can you do that a second time in a year? Um, so a little home advantage for Georgia, home revenge advantage, Texas. Uh, again, if, if you're just using the, the um, road ratings for both teams, I've got Texas 1.8 points better uh, on the road than Georgia is on the road. Not a real road game for Georgia, but I make up for that with the revenge. So I'm still looking like Texas too. With all, all that being said, I'm looking like Texas is too. And uh, guys, this number is two. It opened two, and it's two and a half now. That game's right there. Um, we'll see how the fluctuation in that line. Uh, the one game that I've got circled my Longhorns have a real challenge in Georgia. They absolutely do. Um, Iowa State, Arizona. This game will be played in Arlington, Texas. This is the Big 12 championship. Um, Arizona State was supposed to be one of the worst teams in the Big 12. They've gone on a phenomenal run. Uh, but again, just go by the ratings, guys, and you'll see... I've got Iowa State the favorite uh, on a uh, on a road. Iowa State thirty five point zero on the road. ASU thirty three point five at home. Um, Iowa State a point and a half better right now. They've got this game. It opened Iowa State one and has gone to Arizona State two and a half. It hits a three. I'm all over Iowa State. That's going to be you guys free bet. It's the one. That's the one game that I really like. That at right now, like I said, if it hit three right now, I'm all over Iowa State. Uh, I just think they're they're the better team. Arizona State on a great run, um, crushed Arizona in their rivalry game. But I like what Iowa State did over K State. Again, it'll be Iowa State and nobody for me. Um, Clemson SMU. Uh, I like Clemson in this one also. Um, my ratings, this game, by the way, get played. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, okay? Clemson is a South Carolina team, SMU, a Texas team. Um, not giving an advantage to Clemson, but they're a little more closer in proximity. But I just got their road rating better. Not only that, um, this is SMU's first year in the ACC, first year in a big power conference. Clemson's not only been there, they've been there. They've been there in title games. Their coaching staff has been there. They're going to get every edge in the world. I'm Clemson in this one. Right now, Bet Online is a two and a half and quite a few others. So it's two or two and a half. Um, again, um, Clemson opened one and it's only gone to SMU. It's the only reason I haven't bet it yet. Let the momentum keep going. If it goes up to three, it's Clemson plus three. Um, and I saw, who, who do I got here? W.M. Pruden Love, Penn State, and Iowa State. Um, Penn State, Oregon. Again, this game, uh, neutral field, Indianapolis, Indiana. So, you, you geography, geography majors, who's going to have more of a, of, of a travel? Penn State, right next to Indiana. Uh, Oregon, all the way northwest, they'll be traveling. Look, Oregon's been the best team uh, in in college football, undefeated, only only team undefeated. They got the wide receiver Tez Johnson back. They they crushed Washington. They wanted that game. That was makeup for last year. Remember, Wash beat them in the regular season and in the conference championship. Oregon wants this conference championship. Uh, Penn State. Look, Penn State beats everybody except Ohio State. Do they get this game? Well, my numbers on a neutral field. Say Penn State, uh, say Oregon is just 1.9 points better. Again, a little tinge of an edge um, geographically to Penn State. I'm like one and a half on this number. Pinnacle just went to four. Uh, again, we'll see where this game goes, but dog and nobody. Give me points, give me points, give me points. I'll leave it open for some comments, guys.
Anybody. Nothing. I oh, I hope we could get more of uh because it's it's really what I want to come live for, answer questions, especially my members. Uh members that especially if you <coughs> excuse me. On a Sunday, if you're trying to get a, a, a um uh, a comment out of me or, or ask a question on, on a on a Sunday or a Saturday because there's a million games. That's why I don't go live on those days. Or if you're trying to get something out of me just before tip off on some games, I'm looking for information. Here's the spot to do it. Uh, Monday through Friday, 11 o'clock Eastern. You got your questions? I will answer anything. Jason, I appreciate you sharing me everywhere. One more time, guys. We'll, I'll be looking today. If we don't get a lot of likes, comments, and retweets, uh, I'll give you a preview tomorrow. Won't be giving you every game like I am today. Let's go over to the NBA again. Nobody better. Nobody close. Not better. Nobody close to what I could do in the NBA. No, nobody does it. Like, nobody's going to give you a bet a day ahead of time. I remember one of our games a couple of weeks back. Uh, we gave out two games. We gave out the Hawks minus five. Um, and we had, we had some guys plagiarizing our games. We gave out the Hawks minus five. And I believe it was Magic plus some points. Plus three, let's call it, against the Philadelphia 76ers. So this fraud uh, that, how many guys watch, how many guys watch uh, the, the Twitter, or the egg, excuse me, Elon, the X, and then go out, and give my games out, and how many guys are actual Massa Edge members uh, that once I give a game, give it out. Anyway, long story short, guy gave out the Hawks, and when I called them out on it, actually, you guys alerted me to it. I, I DM'd them. Uh, I, I say, I see you giving out my games. I says, that's fine, but why don't you at least give me the credit? Oh, no, I'm going against you on the 76ers. He went against me on the 76ers. Magic opened as a three-point favorite uh, excuse me, Magic opened as a three-point dog. We took Magic. He was going to lay three with the 76ers. Magic went off as a two or two-and-a-half-point favorite. Magic went outright. No, there's nobody that's close. There's there's pretenders out there. Nobody can give you a bet 8 o'clock in the morning, much less the day before when DraftKings and Bet Online opens up. We beat the number every day. Nobody else, nobody else can say that. That's why I get so aggravated. Especially if my guy's in the chat, you're dealing with somebody it's in this business over 40 years, not a tout business, a book at the highest levels, a better that's moved the lines for years, especially in the NBA. If you don't think that's worth it, guys, bye-bye, go find somebody else. But see, they don't get to fucking slam my shit because we had a couple of losers. We had a, th a plus over 30 some odd unit running the NBA. Down week, boom, 12. Units back to beg two days, 12 units get it all back. Granted, NFL's been a fucking absolute nightmare. Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, Miami Heat, Boston Celtics. We've got both teams playing on back to backs. Um, Celtics, just give me one sec, guys. Celtics were Cleveland yesterday. They played without Jalen Brown, had an illness. Uh, Derek White also missed yesterday. Uh, but Horford and Porzingis played. Porzingis, 32 minutes. Remember, he sat out. He's, he's only back a handful of games. Don't expect to see him in the second half of a back-to-back. -back. And Al Horford, he hasn't played a back-to-back -back in three years. He's definitely going to miss. So one way or the other, we're going to have a shorthanded Boston Celtic team. Um, Miami Heat, fourth best record over the last 50 road games, 28-20-2 against the spread. Fourth best record, okay? Uh, Boston Celtics, 5-2 and two straight up in their last seven home games. Just 1-6. The only cover was their last game against the Clippers. Um also, playoff revenge. Miami Heat uh, comes into Boston. They lost four games to one last year. The one win, double digits at Boston. Uh, look, for look. the only thing, Butler did leave. Jimmy Butler left the game yesterday. He's questionable, very questionable. Uh, with Now, you're not making up Jimmy Butler. Actually, you're not making up for, for 
for uh, playoff Jimmy. Uh, this is a playoff Jimmy. This is Jimmy Butler in the regular season. And Hero, uh, Rogier, Jaquez, they just got other guys that'll pick up the slack just enough. Obviously, you want Jimmy Butler in there. I'm not saying we don't want Jimmy Butler in there. But if you're going to be missing Porzingis and Horford and either possibly Brown or Derek White, give me double digits with Miami Heat, double revenge, both teams back-to-back. -back. As I said, they're a covering machine on the road. Boston Celtics, 1-6, last seven uh, against the spread at home. We took 10 on this one. <clears throat> Kerbal, I love when you give out the bets a day before because I know the line is going to move. Um, Kerbal, I guess, is, is a member because he we, we send out our... As soon as I make a bet, we send the notification out, okay? And what I've been doing is saying where it's available. Now, again, I, I know some of our members, uh, my man Tex, shout out to my man Tex. He's been a member for a long time. So he's from Texas. He's got no DraftKings. And I guess he doesn't um, have a bad online account either. So poor Tex has got to sit there and literally watch the numbers tick down eight and a half, eight. Seven and a half, seven, six and a half before he can make a bet in that, that next morning. Uh, but guys, what should I do? Not bet it, not send the bets out for the guys that do have bet online or DraftKings accounts. So uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not telling you to do anything illegal. I am not prognostic, I'm not, not going in that direction. But all I could do uh, is tell you where it's available, whether bet online or DraftKings where the number's available. Churro, I hate when I miss the notification when phone's not around. Well, buddy, wait, where's your phone? Everybody travels with a phone. What, what are you, an astronaut? What, what are you doing? Earth to go, okay, John, with the Mega and Powerball tickets. Oh, yeah, wait, hey, why not? What the fuck? Qu -qu -qu quarter million, quarter billion, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, I'm in the same position as Tex, also in Texas, LL Cool J. Well, again, it's unfortunate, and uh, again, for my big five, our uh, first five unit bet, guys, I, I know some of you guys didn't cash that because you couldn't get the eight and a half. But that eight and a half was there not only at DraftKings, but also at Bet Online when they opened before that went down on the overnight. Chris Kelly, the bet that your best bet today, John. I'm going to hit Book Casino. Obviously, hit the apps. Well, I just told you that I've got that one. That's a two-unit bet. I've got a one-unit bet on the Pelicans. Also, I'll read you a little stuff off of that. And we've got a Pelican team that is the second worst team in the NBA, or at least has the second worst record right now. But this is all Wizards are the worst team in NBA. So let's let's clarify that. Pelicans are only the second worst team in the NBA because they've been absolutely decimated by injury. You've got their two best players, Ingram and Zion, haven't played. And Zion ain't coming back anytime soon. Um, Ingram's still out. He's questionable coming back today. Um, you've got Pelicans in a back-to-back, -back, but this isn't a real back-to-back. -back. Nobody played more than 30 minutes. They were absolutely embarrassed, abused, battered uh, by the Knicks. As somebody said, uh, what was it, 26 points in the first half, 28 points. Uh, <coughs> not only were they beat up there, they were beat up uh, at home by the Hawks earlier this year. That's a game we had Atlanta Hawks at New Orleans. They went in there. Hawk beat, they went by 15 last year. Similar situation. Uh, Pelicans, Hawks going to New Orleans, beat them by 18. Later in the year, Atlanta, um, Pelicans go back to Atlanta, beat them by 13. Uh, now, I don't know if they're going to beat them outright in this one. If this is just, I, I can't. They played their worst game. I, I mean, they, they were an, an absolute disgrace yesterday, the Pelicans. They shot 30, is it 37%? 37.2% from the field and just 14.8% from three. They're at rock bottom. Look, DeJounte Murray, he's back now three games. C.J. McCollum's back a few games. DeJounte Murray, his first shot back at Atlanta. Remember, he played the last couple of years there. I think he'll come with a better game. 
Just Murray and McCollum alone. This team should not be a double-digit dog. And I see them coming with a game where Atlanta... Atlanta now has won three games straight. That's actually their longest winning streak since January of last year. They haven't won more. They haven't won four games since January, the end of January, going into February. So, and, and this this three game sweep, uh, three game uh, winning streak, is um, includes two games over Cleveland Caps, a home and home sweep. But then they go to Charlotte, and who else but? The fucking Mass Edge members had the Bulls to bet the Hornets plus six Saturday. No ball, no Bridges, no man, no Williams. We took the plus six, and Hawks, they struggled with them, only winning by three. That was our other bet that we cashed on Saturday. So uh, double-digit numbers here, same scenario. We took actually plus 10. And a half minus 115. Not that I buy it, but that was the number that was available at DraftKings at that time. This is a one unit bet. Um, I just think that they'll be able to stay around the number in this one uh, for double digits. Again, you've got the Pelicans as low as they could be. You've got the Hawks with the highest ratings I've had for them all year. It's a, it's a uh, buy low, sell high type of game. Double digits. Look, could the Pelicans get blown out by another 20? Absolutely. I think it was worth one unit to take the double digits. Lakers mini. Um, Lakers back to back and fifth and seven. They're coming off a road win. Just getting to the number. Just winning the game uh, at Utah last night. Um, D'Lo. Uh, Russell. uh D'Angelo Russell, uh, Reeves, and Reddish all out last night. We'll see if these guys are going to be back for the second half of the back-to-back. -back. And you, then you've got to always worry, will the oldest man in the NBA take a break tonight? Back-to-back, -back, fifth and seventh. So when you're in a situation like this, you've got to wait. We'll see who the Lakers are playing. Uh, Timberwolves, four straight losses, guys. Um, excuse me. They beat the Clippers their last game by one point prior to that. Four straight losses. Just have not got it together. Um, I, I thought by now this Randall transition uh, adds into the power forward. It's just not paying off. They're just not playing good basketball. Again, this number is a huge number. If you look at my ratings, you say, well, John's only got... Uh, Timberwolves 3.5 points better at home than the Lakers are on the road. But again, as I said, back to back, fifth and seven. Who's going to be available? And there's a little revenge here. Uh, first game of the season, Lakers uh, win in LA by seven. So you got a little revenge. You got a whole bunch of things stacking up. Let's see who plays. 124 five listing and only four liked and one retweet. Let's get these numbers up, guys. Guys, it's up to you. Uh, as I said, I'm giving you all my games today, um, and I won't tomorrow. I'll get the likes, I'll get the comments, I'll get the retweets, or, or you'll just get a basic preview instead of what my guys pay $299 a month for. The choice is yours. Last game, Brooklyn, Chicago Bulls, um, a decimated net team now going to be back to back, and that's, again, why this number is so big. So again, in, case, in the ratings, if you see a big difference in the ratings, ask yourself, why hasn't John sent out a bet on that game yet? Chicago Bulls, I've got rated 3.4 points better at home than Brooklyn on the road. But Brooklyn, back-to-back, -back, and we already know Ben Simmons is not going to play much like Horford, doesn't play back-to-back, -back, and he left the game anyway last night. Um Claxton, he hasn't been playing back-to-back -back games. He's going to be questionable. Dorian Finney-Smith, he missed yesterday again. He's been in and out of the lineup. So you got a lot of questions on a beat-up Brooklyn team. Um, if these guys all play, I could like Brooklyn. Brooklyn has played better on the road than they have at home. Uh, getting the job done 3-1 and one on their West Coast trip. Winning the last three games, Golden State, Sacramento, and Phoenix. So we'll see who's playing in this one. White, questionable uh, for the Bulls. 
The uh, Nets have already beaten the Bulls this year. Beat them in Brooklyn by eight points. They won all three meetings last year. They've won and covered the last four meetings. So Nets or nobody at this number, but they've got to have some bodies in there, and we will see who they've got playing. Remember, leading scorer Cam Thomas already uh, on the injured list, and then to a lesser extent, Noah Clowney. So you need bodies, especially in these back-to-backs. I'll leave it open for anybody that's got questions. Anybody want to ask about the ratings, how I get to ratings, why I bet teams, why I don't bet teams, this is the time to do it. If not, guys, I'll move it along. Because Mondays are always busy, Monday and Fridays, because now we're going over all what the possible injuries could be, how they'll affect the line, and... Uh, we get ready to bet next Sunday's NFL. Got to be better than this week. This was just an absolute disaster. But what we fucking lacked in the NFL, more than made up, back strong with the NBA. Four straight winners, two yesterday. Our first five-unit bet of the year. I just want you guys to realize that when I say our first five-unit bet, you see these clowns every day with 10 and 15 and 50 and 150 fucking You I don't even know what a unit is. Um, that's, that's how your first sign, the guy's not real. You know, if you don't know what a unit is, you, you, who the fuck are you to be a handicapper telling people what to bet? One unit equals 1% of your bankroll, okay? You got to, I'm just using numbers here, you got a dime bankroll, a thousand dollars, a unit's ten dollars. Uh, you can't be betting a hundred dollars if you got a thousand dollar bankroll. You will go broke. I can guarantee you that. Take it from, I'm a pro. You understand? Uh, so anybody swearing uh, that they're betting 10 and 15 and 20 units or risking more than half their bankroll on any given day, they're a liar. So I have to out straight out, you're a fucking liar. You didn't risk more than half your, if you did, you're a fucking square. Guys risk more. More than that. Guys broke cocksuckers risk everything. They ain't got nothing. They risk everything. Okay? But you ain't you ain't a fucking you ain't a shop. You ain't a fucking handicapper. If that's how you fucking bet it. Uh Uncle J Black Friday deal still on for members. I missed the video last week. LL Cool James. It is not. Um I'll see if B could do something for you because it's a thing that we put in and how she does it. And I don't know how it works. I don't have a mechanism to just say, send me the money. Everything goes through either Stripe, PayPal, or Apple. So um, text B. Uh, anybody could text B. 619-363-0395. If you've been a member, um, I'll give you till the end of today. So what do they call it? Cyber Monday. Here's what I'm going to do. But if you've never been a member before and you've already taken advantage of the free week, it's $299. If you've been a member, whatever, it's $199. I'll just give me a few minutes after I, I get off here so I can send her a message. And if, and if she could do it, I don't know. Don't DM me. I, I don't know how to do anything, guys. Everything's got to be done the right way. So if she could do it, I'll tell her if you've been a member or something to give you guys one more day. Today, a, a code for today um, to get that 199 deal. It's going to be, a, guys, I was telling you before the season started, going to fucking destroy the NBA. Um, I'm a numbers guy. We beat the number every day. I'm not talking about yesterday or this last week. I'm doing this for over 40 fucking years. Uh, last year, we destroyed the number every day. We did not have a winning season. Uh, just the numbers are impossible. It has to be made up for. I'm a Libra. The scales, things have got to balance out. I've not only got to win for this year, I've got to win for last year. The, the way I punished the books yesterday, last year, two, three, four points, day in, day out, every single game, though that will get made up for. We're starting to do it already again. Another great weekend on a four-game win streak in the NBA. Um, prepare to punish the books all year long.
along. Guys, if you're not a member, become a member. Again, NFL hasn't been great, but you, look, that yeah, hasn't been great. Still have the edge. If I give you Jets plus one and that kickoff, the Jets of one and a half, two favorite, you, that's your edge. I don't, I don't know what you think you're going to get other than that. Again, if you guys really think that this jerk off, like, like, like Vegas Dave or any of these fucking, these comedians have an edge on the game. You're, you're a bigger sucker. You don't even belong here. If you really think these guys win, you don't even belong here. So I, I come here every day with an hour long or so close to it and show you my numbers and how I arrived there as opposed to these guys just suckering you and telling you they win fucking 90% of their mega whale bets. Get the fuck out of here. Guys, all right, one more time. B619-363-0395. Text her. Don't call her. That, that, that's not a phone. That's, that's a computer number or whatever she does. Text her. She'll get back to you. Uh, and she'll uh, we'll make you eligible one more day till midnight tonight. $199 a month. Uh, get there, guys. I'm telling you, we're going to kill it. What else we got here? That's it. No more questions. Men, appreciate you joining me. Got to get the numbers up. Only 149 today. That's not enough. We hit 200 last week. I need some likes. I need some comments. I need some retweets. You guys are going to be missing out tomorrow. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.